Benny, you were... Buddy, now that you're all dressed, we'll get you something to eat. Come in. <laughs> hey, Sunny. Oh, I, ju I just want to look at you. Get over here. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Oh, oh, I missed you. You're beautiful. I missed you, both of you. And who's this? This is Michael Morgan. I named him after you. Hey. Take a look at him. Michael, this is Sonny. <laughs> Michael. Do, 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 do. Nice to meet you. He's smiling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. I never got to meet you, Michael. I'm friends with your dad. That's why I came. He knows I tell him about you all the time. What do you tell him? The stuff you taught me. How it was when you lived here. You know that place by the window you used to stand? We stand there almost every night and look out at the lake, and I talk to him until he falls asleep. But he likes to play before he eats. So I'm going to put him down. Sorry. Come on, buddy. Yes. You're a good boy. I never pictured him as a father. It surprised me, too. But he's natural. <sighs> Who's Michael's mother? Carly. You remember I told you about her? The one you used to shoot pool with? Yeah, I thought she, she shacked up with Tony Jones. Yeah, OK, all right, I'm going to make this short, OK? They had a fight. Carly came to live with me. When Dr. Jones found out Michael wasn't his, he went a little crazy and stole him. And he almost killed Robin. No, hold on. The judge let him off with community service. So Carly shot Dr. Jones, and now she's in a mental whoa, hospital. Whoa, 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 Go back to the part about stealing a baby and almost killing Robin. Tony Jones did this to you? It's more complicated than that. It's more complicated. Sonny, he found out a lot of things at once, OK? That Michael wasn't his, that Carly was Bobby's daughter. How does that work? I don't know. I guess Bobby gave Carly up for adoption, and then Carly finally told Bobby who she was. And when Tony found out, he had some sort of mental collapse. He didn't really know what he was doing. Jason, yeah, you tell know, me what's happening He kidnapped here. Michael. And when Robin figured out where he was, Dr. Jones took her too. OK. He locked her in a storage room in his cabin for three days without her HIV medication. He and she, her in the, And she caught pneumonia. He almost killed her. I'm fine, OK? I am fine. And what I would like is for neither of you, neither of you, to figure out how you could get back at Tony. OK, Sonny? Uh, Sonny. Sonny, please. Whatever you want, baby. It's good, right? Hey. Uh, I'd like to eat. Um, is this is this the meal I get? Uh, <laughs> back, cold pizza? I'll order something. What do you want? No, no, I can make something. Uh, unless you uh, threw everything out of the kitchen. Because I know you didn't use it. Mm. Well, the pasta uh, still might be there. The canned foods. I don't think we have tomatoes. I can make something work. No, oh, it's okay. Why don't I uh, start by getting rid of this pizza, and I will check in the refrigerator see if there's anything we can use for a salad. Right. Oh, man. Are you back? I didn't want to call because I didn't. I didn't want to take the risk of, you know, the phones being traced. But you need to know, Carlos is going to make his move. I met with him in Puerto Rico yesterday. Yeah. To go over the casino numbers, the money was there. Same with the shipments. They were light for about three months. And when I pushed him, he started sending them complete. Carlos knows I'm out there somewhere watching. He's not, he's not going to risk taking down himself. 
So he's gonna keep playing the old, you know, friendly partner game. Until he gets somebody he can control to make the move for him. That's what we gotta find out. Voodoo water. Right in front of Father Coates. If I hadn't had Ronaldo and Johnny, though, the Quartermains would have been on the altar. Why don't you just throw them out? Because I asked them not to. <laughs> okay, they may be overbearing and completely obnoxious, but mm -hmm. they're still part of Michael's family. They had a right to see him baptized. Yeah, the best thing was, I thought the old man was gonna have a heart attack when I said Michael's name. Edward must be dying that a Quartermain is named after me. <clears throat> Michael's not a Quartermain. They've done everything they could to get him, Sonny. They act like he's something I stole and... Mike. He's good. He's Michael's godfather. Wow. You couldn't set the kid up any better than that? You weren't here. I'd have been honored. I bet Mike is. How's he doing? It's, uh... Bar still in business? This bar does all right. He misses you a lot. How are you? How are you living? I mean, I, I know that I can't no, ask you where. It's, it's an island, some, some place warm. I own a casino. My rooms look out over the ocean. I, I do a good business. The people that work for me are uh, pretty decent. All right, so how about if I make some espresso if the machine is still there? <laughs> I'm going to take Michael upstairs. <clears throat> I'll have a cappuccino. Cappuccino? Ooh. Yeah, well, you know, Graciela makes them for me sometimes. They're good. You ready to go upstairs, Michael? Hey. Oh, such a good boy. <laughs> you want to say goodnight to everyone? Here you go. Good night, buddy. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah, you're real tired, aren't you? You know that happens sometimes when you travel. I don't know exactly why. Maybe you get used to sleeping in the same bed and having the same people around. And if you want them there, you love them. In the year and a half that he worked for me, I never heard him say that much to anyone ever. He treats Michael the same way you treated him. With respect. Not as someone who's stupid, just someone who doesn't know certain things yet. Everything okay between you two? Now, yeah. <laughs> it was really hard for a while, though. I broke up with him. Jason didn't get a vote. That made leaving my responsibility. Not that it made Jason hurt any less, but at least he didn't make the decision to hurt us both. He came to get you in Paris? Jax did. When Brenda had a nervous breakdown. Brenda broke down? I had to put her in a mental ward. Are you serious? Yeah. Tell me, what, what happened? Well, I was in Paris, so all I know, I know from Brenda. The first couple of months, she seemed okay. I mean, she was in pain. She was humiliated. But when I called, she said that she thought she could put you behind her and start a new life. She bought a little house. She tried to get back into LMB Records. And she agreed to do this major campaign for Jack's Cosmetics. Anyway, uh, a few days before the shoot, there was, there was a drive-by shooting at Luke's. A man named Marino tried to kill Jason. She wasn't hurt or anything, but it must have done something to her because she lost it completely. She freaked. She smashed the setup. She threatened the crew with a camera tripod and had to take her to the hospital in restraints. Because of me? She thought you were trying to kill her. 
Oh, come on. I mean, she had to know that I, I would never do anything. Sonny, she didn't know anything. <laughs> she knew that you loved her. She built her whole life around that. And then when she found out that it wasn't true, when you left her at the altar and told Jason to tell her that it was a great ride, she lost her mind. I did it because I wanted her to hate me. I wanted her to be free. Okay. Sonny, I'm not saying this to hurt you. There's something you have to understand, though. You can never go back to her. I swear to you, I did not come back for that. Okay. I'm sorry. Finish it. Brenda was in the hospital for two weeks, I think. Uh -huh. Jax kept it out of the media, so I didn't even know what happened. He got her release for Christmas, but she still wasn't well enough to live alone. That's when he came to Paris and asked me to come and stay with her. She thought that I was your spy. That I was calling you in the middle of the night to report on her. Where is she? She's in Malibu. She's okay now, Sonny. She brought herself back little by little. No. Oh. She said that she decided to live. Not for you and not for anybody else, but for herself. Brenda's not in Malibu alone. Jax is with her. She's in love with him. She told you that? Well, we kind of have this elaborate plan to get him to marry her. He said no at first. But he loves her just as much as she loves him, so it's pretty much inevitable. Oh, that's great, then. Everything's okay. Everything is better than okay. She's really happy. <sighs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for telling me. Sonny, I don't blame you. I know that you were loving Brenda the best way you could. You think I was wrong? I don't know. I mean, Brenda's been through so much, I can't be glad that it happened. But she is so much stronger now. She believes in herself in a way that she never did before. She's free to build a life with Jax. I don't think that's wrong for you to want her to have that. But maybe it was wrong for you to not let her make the choice. Not that I'm qualified to judge. I mean, I'm the person that decided that Jason and I should be apart. What made you change your mind? Almost losing him. I pushed him away, but I never let him go. And I finally realized that as long as I'm going to love him with all my heart, I might as well be with him, too. Is he asleep? Yeah. I'm going to uh, get the baby monitor. No, it's OK. I'll get it. I have to get my purse out of your room anyway. Why? I'm going home. Sonny didn't come all this way just to make dinner. I'm sure you two have a lot to discuss. Why does that mean you have to leave? I thought you'd want me to. I want you to stay. Well, you can wait upstairs or in the den or in my room. In your room. I'll keep the baby monitor with me. Thank you. See you in the morning? Yeah. Oh, love you. Love you, too. Yeah. Why is she going into the maze? Well, since we're asleep. Carly's got the guest room and Michael's got stones. What about mine? That's for you. No, no, no. This is your apartment now, Jason. What Look, are you talking about? I like about my this? room. It's got a bed, Graciela. I ordered some nice curtains and robins in there. That's all I want.
Michael's a great looking kid. I mean, you're not the father. Yes, I am. Well, no, I mean, not, not his biological father, because I know you, and I know you never slept around a runner. It's AJ's. He and Carly got drunk and had sex. And when AJ thought Michael might be his, he wanted to take him away from Carly, so she said I was the father instead. You lied for her? I didn't say anything. Sonny, no one asked me. I guess, uh, in a way, it was a lie. But it's not anymore because I love Michael more than anything. And I'll protect him, and I'll take care of him as long as he needs me to. I am his father. That's why you gotta be careful. You can't be dying or disappearing on your kid. Carlos is coming after you. We gotta handle this right. Otherwise, he's gonna hurt people we both care about just to get what he wants. The longer they Carlos is draining the casinos for every nickel he can get. I'm thinking those late light shipments went to finance this takeover bid. I don't wanna go to war with Carlos. It'll break up the transport network and it's gonna cost me a fortune. I, I agree, your organization is linked too closely to risk violence. We need leverage. Maybe use Carlos's men against him. Look, if you stay in town a couple of days, I'm going to have my men find out if anyone's been asking the wrong questions about the docks or my businesses. That was good. What? My men, my business. You're getting comfortable with it. It's been hard without you. <sighs> Still is. But now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sometimes. At least you learn how to dress. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think about that much. It's part of the job. Another thing that's part of the job is making sure the people you care about are protected. I, there was nobody at the door when I came in. I sent Johnny home. I wasn't going anywhere tonight. Well, you can't take that chance now. You, you got Robin and the kid here. Family makes you vulnerable, Jason. You're right. I keep a guard on Brenda. I have since she left. She know? Ah, she's threatening to call the cops if she ever sees them, so I make sure she doesn't. Robin, well, tell you what happened. Brenda had a breakdown. Yeah, she did. Well, she's alive, you know. That's what Marcus said about Lily. She knows, Sonny. She asked me straight out if you left because you loved her. What'd you tell her? Nothing. Good. It's over. <laughs>